article was, I went down to a Robin Jaqua seminar, very informal, sometimes she calls them a happening, at the Union Library in the Education Building at the University of Oregon. And um, today she talked about several things that I thought were very interesting, but one of them was nursery rhymes talking about the rhythm of the soul. She was talking about the development of children and how when children connect to language uh, and nursery rhymes are these, you know, traditional through the generations kinds of um, uh, rhymes, that for some children it connects, it's, it's sort of bonding language and and the soul, the rhythm of the soul. And I don't know what I make of that statement yet, and we talked about it a little bit afterwards, but I know that during this week I'm going to be thinking about what that means to me. Uh, Robin talks a lot about individuation and the process of that, and Esther Harding's book, I and Not I, is a book that people who are going are going to be reading in the next few weeks. Um, but key to that is what's unique to each individual. I mean, there's talk, people talk about what's what's common to us and then what's, you know, individual for each of us. And uh, I love so many things about going down there. Um, it's, it's free, it's unstructured, and yet if people can't think of what else to do, we watch uh, videos of her giving lectures that are, uh, say, 20 years ago, and they're always amazing. Hmm. So it just, it feels like here's this thing in my world that's um, beautiful and freely given and just kind of overflowing with wisdom. And I make notes in my journal and uh, just think about the next days and weeks afterwards.